right. Today I'm picking an American 1106 lock functions as it's supposed to. Let's see if I can get my tension wrench positioned nicely so that I can get to pin one. And starting on pin five, four is loose, three is loose, two is set, and one is set. Five is set. Four is set. And we're open. Had to touch one. All right. So we will. Lock there and remove the core. Everything's out. So let's see here. Where's my C clip. Try not to throw it across the room. Do this nice and slow and careful. Just relock the lock, which is fine. Good thing I didn't do it upside down. Should have just gone ahead and locked it since I do have the key. There's the C clip. Dandy, not so official follower. Nice fat roll pin. Actually, I do have a better follower. Do you have the American follower? Doesn't fit my master locks. Not sure why I didn't grab it first. All right. And there we go. Move this stuff to the side. Okay. Pin one serrated. Pin two is pretty small, no serrations because of its size. Pin three serrated. Pin four serrated. And pin five is also serrated. Okay, now for the fun part, the core. Pin one is a serrated. Sorry, I'm kind of tight and I just... Pin two, serrated. Pin three, serrated. Pin four is a spool. And pin five is serrated. Dump these out carefully here. And we have spring one. Spring two, spring three, spring four, 
and spring 5. So that's the American Lock 1106 and all of its pins.